Did it change your relationship? Yes, badly. Yeah, I actually hate him now. Yeah. Do you have any plans for baby number two in the future? Well, One, what, yes or no? Yeah. One, two, three. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, <laughs> we asked you guys, also I feel like we're talking about this what? Is my channel. <laughs> oh yeah, it's her channel. We're not on Odeo 3. <laughs> yeah, guys, we need to get back on our family channel really bad. This is our special special guest. I'll be the special guest. Key, Key and Lolly. What's up, everybody? We are answering questions about being new parents because we get DMs all the time about how we're adjusting to this new life. Emphasize on the word adjusting. We are definitely learning so much as new parents and we thought we would fill you guys in on some things that we've learned yeah. uh, so far. Also, I am juice cleansing today. I really wanted to do a mukbang, but I'm not eating. Juice bang. <laughs> I'm on a two-day juice cleanse right now because I want to feel more energy, healthier, and kind of like get back into the groove of feeling like myself again because birth took a lot out of me. Cut back to five minutes ago. I kind of want french fries. Is that bad? <laughs> I literally Do you think that'd be bad if I get french fries? I wanted french fries and I was like, do you think I could just have french fries and cheese? <laughs> and he's like, no, you have to stick to it if you're gonna do it. No, I didn't say no, you can't. She's like, is that bad? And I was like, well, dude, you've had uh, one juice and she's supposed to have 12 juices. And I was like, well, you can either stick to something and do it or just not do it. So I'm doing it. Question number one. Is it hard to not be consistently worrying about whether or not his actions are normal or not? Yes, 1000%. I feel like I'm a little bit more worried. Take it away, Kian. <laughs> Oh, you take it away. You no, go by it. all means, please. I feel like I'm more worrisome than you are. Every, like all of his noises, I'm up at night like checking to see if he like spits up in his crib because I hate that. I hate the thought of babies because sleep safe, sleep yep. safe. Yep, sleep safe. Safe sleep for babies is on their back. Like you can't have them on the side, stomach or anything. So, and I yeah. always have this scary picture in my head that he's gonna spit up and like start choking. And it freaks me out when he's sleeping. I always touch the sides of the you bassinet. I'm breathing. No, I touch the sides of the bassinet to see if they're wet, to see if he spit up. I would have to say Keen's right though. Like I'm more easy going. Like, you know, if I'm holding him and you know, we're in bed and like, I just have, I'm like closing my eyes for a second. Keen's like, oh my God, don't fall asleep. Like, you know, and he's very like cautious of what's going on the baby and so am i but you know one of us has to be more cautious i think if I one think of us yeah more. i can for sure is more cautious do you take some time for yourselves like hang out with friends and such love you three in the beginning when we had him there were a few times that my mom was able to help us like she stayed in our back house for a little bit and she was able to kind of like you know if we asked her ahead of time like hey this day you know there's a christmas event with all of our friends like it would be okay if like we went would you mind watching coast and she was there to help which was really really great most of the times if we want to go see friends we take it we've been out to lunches we've been out to dinners we've, you've gone out with friends i've gone out yeah. with yeah we we bring him most of the times we just bring him most of the times he cries a lot and we have to leave early yeah but honestly i think one thing that i'm really proud of us for doing is we try not to be like scared to take him places as long as we know that our baby's in a safe environment like we'll take him you know because like we want him to get used to being around people and being around like life you know being outside yeah. yeah what advice do you have for new parents we are new parents as well so it's kind of hard to give advice i don't know i've i've heard a lot from other parents less is more like you don't need a million things for your newborn you don't need this 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 this, this. and it's hard because like he's the love of my life and i'll buy him everything i mean yeah i ever. still find myself amazoning amazoning but there's so but we have so much stuff less is more get all the stuff get all the essentials all the things that you need to, like help you with with your newborn but you'll find the more stuff you buy because you just love them so much you end up not needing it or he ends up growing out of it or also i'm thinking about making a video of like things that we've really loved and used so if you guys really want me to make a video about that i do about all the things that we really love for Coast. Let me know in the comments and that will be my next video. I would have to say like my number one advice to a new parent is just take every day as that day. Don't think that because that day was hard or bad that the next one's gonna be hard or bad. I've had moments where I've been like, oh my God, is this my life now? Like I'm never gonna sleep again. Like I'm never gonna have time to do anything for myself. Like I didn't eat till three today cause I was so worried about him. Everything changes and some days are just like perfect. Yeah, so. some days are hard, some days are easy and well, not easy 
easy. Some days are hard and some days are less hard. I would sure. say easy. I honestly find some days easy. Be very open and honest with your partner about it because if you bottle it up, it's just not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I seriously mm -hmm. agree with that. Seriously. What is something you expected going into parenthood but is all different? I don't necessarily know if I expected anything or if anything was different. I just know everything was a lot more than what I thought. I feel like everyone gave us advice about like, you know, there's not really time for yourself. You know, you're going to be like doing stuff for the baby every day or sleeping or whatever. And like, I knew that, but I guess I didn't know to the extent. For me, I feel like I am my baby and my baby is me. Like I don't, I don't have my own identity right now. I am Coast's mom and that's what I am. Like I don't have like my own personal life right now. And I'm fine with that because like he's a baby. Like he'll grow into like being able to do more things on his own. I meant like changing diapers and feeding. I knew I was going to have to change a lot of diapers and not feed a lot and you know, do it like I just underestimated. Yeah. I was hearing a million different things. Oh, you're gonna have to change. Oh, he's gonna cry a lot. Oh, you're gonna have to feed him. I was like, okay, okay, I'm ready. Yeah. And then he came and it was like way more than anticipated. So yeah. Um, I underestimated, I guess that, that's one thing. <laughs> I don't wanna scare anybody. Oh, for sure. It's scary. Having newborn is scary. I don't know. It's, it's a fresh new thing that like you're solely responsible for, but it's fun also. It's mm -hmm. very, very fun and rewarding. Is there a feeling of knowing you are ready to be a parent? Is it a gut instinct or are you learning as you go? We had a feeling kind of like, of like, oh, I think we're ready to be parents. When it came to having questions, how do I change a diaper? How do I feed? How do I know when he's full? How do I know when he's blah, blah, blah? You can't prepare for that. You just learn as you go, I would say. It's a gut feeling like you you have so many questions, you, like you you end up answering them yourself because you just learn as you go. And honestly, I feel like the one really great thing about social media is so many people are going through the same thing. So you can like look at what other people are doing or there's different methods. I know that recently I was asking how to transition my baby from our snoo into the crib and I got so many responses on like good ways to do that. So it's learn as you go, but there's also communities out there where you can mm. get some help, which yeah. is nice. Uh, also, whatever you feel is a parent you should do because like there's things that TikTok is or like other people have advised us and we just feel like our son doesn't want that so yeah. we just do whatever we think is best for him every baby is different so yeah. you know if you see something uh, TikTok, anyway like your parents tell you something like no matter what every baby is different and yeah. not everything works for every baby so yeah. find out what, what works for yours what's your favorite face that coast makes the poop <laughs> face Really? Mine I, is yeah. like when he does that side smile. It's hard because the poop face is so funny, but when you see him for the first time in the morning and he goes from like, what's going Oh my God, going? my eye? Yeah, it's been like that. It's probably from that juice. Guys, I'm having a full on allergy attack. <laughs> I'm getting them for you. I'm fighting the allergies in here. When he goes from like, what's going on to like, Ugh, he locks I eyes with you. I love his morning faces. And smiles, it's like, Melts he is such a happy boy in the morning. What are some things that can help me as a young mom that you recommend? Take it away. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you have family, even some friends you trust, don't be afraid to just like ask them to come over and, and help you. If you're feeling like your life isn't the same it used to be because your friends are off doing things, your life's just consumed with your baby, invite your friends over. Like you, you know, I think a lot of us wait for our friends to reach out to us because we're just busy as parents. But like, I've also just like called a friend of mine, you know, and been like, hey, can you just come over? and hang out with me and talk. So I feel normal <laughs> in a sense. Don't feel like you have to do this by yourself. What is one place you would take Coast when he gets older that you've always wanted to bring your kid? <clears throat> Ew. Mm. I'm gonna bring him to the coast. Disneyland. Put his feet in, Woo! Put his feet in the sand. Woo! Disneyland. Disneyland. Yeah. Disneyland. Disney. Disneyland. I want to go. I'm gonna go with Coast. Put his put his feet in the sand. At Disneyland. Sure. Okay. Well, you guys miss the newborn stage. People say that their fav that that's their favorite, but I'm ready for a toddler. I used to be ready for like the next thing. Kian was always ready for the next thing. I remember when I was pregnant. He's like, I can't wait for you to get a stomach, and I'm like, okay, great. And then I got huge, and then he was like, oh, I can't wait for him to be here. Cause I wanted him out. I and wanted then I was to like, kiss okay, and then he got here, and he's like, oh, I can't wait for him to smile, smile at us. And I'm just like, we well, got not, to enjoy. That's the not wanting the next thing. That's just being excited. Being for, excited for the yeah. next milestone. Toddler, I do not want him to be a toddler yet. He's growing way too quick. He he's really is growing way too fast. It's almost three months. It's actually making me sad. You know what would be nice is if he could stay just like this, but sleep through the night. Yeah, and feed himself, burp himself. <laughs> <laughs>
That would be perfect. He wakes up, waddles to the bottle. Yeah. He makes his own <laughs> bottle and burps himself. Oh, God. Uh. What age are you anticipating slash excited most for Coast to reach and why? I'd say like 22. <laughs> so it can be like best buds. And I feel out. like one. One because then he can like walk. I'd say like, I'd say like one and a half, two because he can he can. And then you can be like, whoa. Right. And he's yeah. like, gets like excited. I don't know. Well, he can articulate a little bit more, tell you more how he's feeling. I think one would just be so cute. So I feel like for us, what's going to be so exciting is next, or no, this year, Halloween, Thanksgiving, yeah, Christmas, holidays. because he's going to be one and he's just going to love it. I cannot wait for Halloween costumes this year. I don't know what we're gonna be but i cannot wait rapunzel i'll oh, be duh. and he can be uh yeah tell me who who can we be you're rapunzel i'll take two answers from mine <laughs> there's two answers you could be chip yeah chip i'll be chip skylark wait okay um and then the green guy is okay first of all chip is incorrect <laughs> So, we what? Oh, Pascal. That's the comedian. Yes, that. So that's what Coast could be. Yeah. Now me. Now you are. He has a real name and a name he goes by. I don't know. Give me a first letter. F. Farquad. Yeah. And I'll be Lord Farquad. <laughs> oh my God. We should be the Shreks and then make him Lord Farquad. No, I think it'd be funny <laughs> if you were Rapunzel and he was Pascal and then I was Farquad. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't get the memo. How do you split the mommy slash daddy duties? Is it 50-50 split? Do you have time for yourselves? We do things that like work for us. Obviously, if she's out doing something, I'm at home taking care of him, you know, watching him, feeding him, changing him, vice versa. Throughout the day, 50-50 at night, um, we have like a little schedule. He does the first half and then yeah. I do the second half. Yeah. The burping at night is the worst because you'll feed him and he'll get super, super tired. And then you have to burp him, which usually wakes him up a little bit yeah. and you have to get him retired. But the night is a little bit more stressful, but I'd say it's 50, 50. How are the dogs adjusting? I'm sure they absolutely love him. Honestly, they adjusted just fine. Like we were probably only worried about honey. She is completely fine with him. Hazel doesn't seem to really care. Moomer cared in the beginning. Like if the baby would cry, he would like kind of cry and he'd be like, <laughs> like freaking out. Now he kind of just like looks over and he's like, okay. H Hazel doesn't even look over. It's Hazel just, does not care. She really does it. It's so funny. What's your favorite thing to do with Coast? My favorite thing is to look at him and make him smile. And I kind of like when he does like the, oh, like yeah, he makes like that. Actually, no, my favorite is bath time. That's a really good I one. I love bath time. It's literally his favorite thing to do. So bath time for us is like so fun because he loves the water. I don't know. I really like making him smile. Just being able to know that he is receptive of something. Yeah. Being able to look at him and smile and get a smile out of him is just, it's like so rewarding. Yeah. Did it change your relationship? Yes, badly. Yeah, I actually hate him now. Yeah, it's horrible. So next. No, I, I was going to say, are you going to own this or change it up? Are you going to change it? No, I was going to leave it. I don't think it's changed us for the worse. I think we've still been pretty close, pretty intimate. <laughs> <laughs> the first couple months of a newborn, you have something to focus 24 seven. Like there's no time for anything else. So just brings but, it a little closer in a different way. Yeah, it's hard to explain. Um, and definitely close in the other way. <laughs> nice to have that back. Yeah. Yeah. I bet it is. <laughs> Shut up, dude. I'm annoyed. Is there something others didn't tell you about being a new parent that they should have? No, I, I kind of like not having people say certain things or like try to tell you how it's going to be, what it's going to yeah. be, because you get to learn for yourself. And I don't like when people say too much and they scare you for thinking things. I don't know. I So no, no one really told us any anything too much. We got or, told different things, but like I feel us. like whatever we got told was fine. Do you have any plans for baby number two in the future? You know what? I get asked that a lot as well. Like we just had, we just okay, on had coast. One, two, three, we're going to say the answer. Ready? Well, one, what, yes or no? Yeah. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I want a second one, yeah, but have we had the talk? No. Have like, we... and it's not happening anytime soon. Like, we really want to enjoy at least a year with, like, our son that we have right now. Also, it's a lot for, like, me personally to go through, and I did not have the best bird story. It was pretty traumatic. You know, not like I'm going to have that again, but it's a lot to put yourself mentally and physically through, so, like, I'm for sure not ready to go through that again. I mean, so, yeah, we know we want a second. Mm -hmm. um, do we know when? 
No. Who do we think Coast Me. currently looks like more? No, it's actually really funny because sometimes Kian will put his face in front of Coast and be like, hi. And Coast will be like, eh. He'd be like that. <laughs> Yesterday at the park, he was loving looking at the trees and then Kian puts his face <laughs> over him and he's like, eh. And I was like, get your face out of the way. He doesn't want to look at you. <laughs> I think he looks like me a little bit more. He honestly does. Um, I hate to say it, but like yeah. I held him in me for 10 months and he looks 10 like- 10 months? Basically. February to October. No, it is 10, technically, kind of, because I, like, I got pregnant in January. Well, you were 39 weeks. Boy math. I don't know. I thought pregnancies were nine months. Wait, how many months? Hold on. How? <laughs> Girl math. Girl math. 9.2. All right. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah never it's mind. Roughly, roughly nine. Yeah. When Coast grows up and he's like a year old, two years old, he's going to look so different. He might look more like you. He'll look more like me. But for right now, I think he look more like me. If he looks like you, but he has my personality. And my height. Yeah. No, he's perfect right now. He is perfect. Just the way he is. Well, before we hear Kian annoyingly sing, we are going to end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And Go check out Audio 3. Uh, we don't have anything on that. Yeah, we deleted all our videos. Everybody Sorry, yell at Kian. Tell him, let's get on Audio 3 in. Let's get it in. Okay. Let's, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. You said we, let's get it in. Let's... Um... <laughs> I flustered her. <laughs> Just comment something below. I don't know. Let me know what you're feeling. Let's talk. Let's chat. Um, I'll see you guys next time. And comment or comment. I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye.